Everything you see here is strictly informational. Uh, 4X is a high risk uh, business. Um, please do not place trades uh, with more money than what you don't have. Um, please do not trade other people's money. Do not borrow any money um, than what you cannot trade with. And, and uh, please take everything that I say as a personal opinion. Um, I am not considered a financial advisor. Um, I'm not considered a broker. I am just one here simply recording uh, my journey along learning the markets. All right, guys. So I wanted to go ahead and uh, give you all a follow up video um, to uh, my one yesterday about the double RSI strategy. Um, tried it out on crypto today and uh, it works. Um, Either that or I just got really lucky. So um, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and go to the charts. I tried on a couple different ones, and I'll even show you my MT4 um, because I did try it. And one, I just didn't leave uh, <laughs> didn't leave uh, enough uh, stop loss room. Um, but uh, it all happened all about at the same time. So I tried it on three different cryptos. It would worked on two of them uh, in kind of a sense. Um, it would have worked on the third had I left uh, a better stop loss, but uh, I'll kind of go through and uh, show you what I did. So here um, is the chart of what it was. So this was uh, Ripple XRP. Um, I kind of have it drawn out. I showed you exactly where, um, you know, I had the, uh, the alert drawn down here. It hit the alert whenever I looked at it. It was exactly at um, about about eight nine somewhere on there of the difference, so I went ahead and jumped in. Now the reason I have this line drawn here is because this is where the actual price was, but uh, considering the um, the spread on crypto of Hugo's way over the weekend, it actually had me entered here at uh, um, what was it twenty seven. 27487. So that was the actual entry that I had, even though the price is way down here. Um, and uh, it took a while, but as you can see, you know, it, it was close to um, being oversold. It wasn't quite oversold, but uh, the difference, uh, you know, was uh, eight or eight or more, somewhere, somewhere around there. 33 to 41, yeah, somewhere around there. And uh, it had just, just crossed both of the um, MAs, right? So that was part of the strategy. Just crossed both the MAs, um, close to um, being oversold, RSI, difference in about, you know, like I said, seven or six or more. It was about eight. So I went ahead and jumped in. It was about the perfect time because I think the most that it got... Um, down was about four pips yeah i want to say it was somewhere around four pips is like the, the lowest it got so um i just held on to it just to see what would happen and uh sure enough i caught the skyrocket and then whenever i caught this i got out exactly when i said i would when it would become about a difference of eight or more and it was about a difference of 10. It got up to about um, 25 pips um, before it started going back down. But I closed it out <clears throat> at uh, 21. Um, so I got 21 pips. And I did this with a, with a 0 .01 lot size. I'm just telling you that just to be honest. Just because I didn't know if it would work on crypto. I was going to see if it would work on crypto. So I tried it on, on Bitcoin. Um, I tried it out on um, Litecoin as well. Um, the problem that I have with Litecoin is, is that I entered, it was right here where this yellow line is. Because um, that was, as you can see right here, is where that difference was. And it was probably right around the exact same time. So here, I'll draw a vertical line for you. So right around there is where I entered. Um, yeah, so it would have been right around here. Um, and uh, I only gave myself this much uh, room for some reason. Um, I didn't even give myself, you know, a whole lot of uh, 
Because if I'd actually looked back, I probably would have done the same thing that I did with the other one, which uh, I would actually gave myself a stop loss of um, this right here. You know, this uh, .5652. That's probably what I should have done because then I would have caught it, right? I would have caught it going the opposite way. I would have, you know, got there on Litecoin. Um, but I also did it with um, Litecoin uh, versus Bitcoin. And, uh, but, uh, for some reason, I don't think this is what, I just put this here, this isn't exactly what happened, um, or actually maybe I just didn't hold on to it long enough, but, um, I pulled out whenever I broke even, but, uh, the one I was actually paying to, uh, paying the most attention to was, uh, Ripple, um, uh, mainly because I, I like Ripple, and if I'm gonna trade, I'm gonna trade, uh, Ripple, so just to give you, um, the clue that I did do this, um, there you go. There's my NT4. Um, the fact that I didn't give Litecoin it enough um, <laughs> enough uh, uh, stop loss room, or else I would have uh, turned around and made that one too. Um, and then I just went ahead and closed it at Litecoin if I broke even. But the fact that Ripple did actually get me 21, 21 pips on that. So um, yeah, just uh, giving you guys an update on um, that. Uh, that uh, the strategy, you know, the strategy that I have for the double RSI, which is, again, you know, make sure that it's crossing both here. And I want to show you something else too, really quick while we're at it. Um, so you probably saw a bunch of different lines here. You're seeing all these different lines that are below here. What I did is I went through all the different time frames, right? So I went through the four hour time frame, and uh, what I did is I started marking where the uh, where the uh, 250 um, uh, MAs were. So there is the 50 MA for the 200. Here's the 200 MA for the 200, right? And I did it for the three hour, right? Three hour, I marked the, you know, the 50, and then I marked the 200. So that's when I colored them all, you know, color coded them with, uh, you know, with the same time, with the time frame that they coincided with. The two hour, mark the 50, mark the 200, and then the one hour, I mark the 50 down here, mark the 200, and then the 30 minutes, I mark the 50, and then I mark the 200. As you can see, a lot of them, especially the 50, well, getting closer and closer, that you know, they were just below it, so I think that was on my side. All right, 15, here we go, I had the 50, had the 200. So, I, I kind of had it drawn out ahead of time as to where the, um, uh, you know, the 50 and the 200 uh, MAs were going to be. And as you can see, where it actually stopped, if we go to the 4 hour, and this could probably be something I could probably add to the, the strategy, where it actually stopped was the 50 MA, right? So... That's where it became uh, and oversold at that point. I guess you could say on on the five minute, but uh, that's where it actually got to its high point of um, this current trading session. I guess you could say or th this trade that I made. Um, but the thing is, is I I'm a I'm probably an idiot, and I'm pr I probably should have held on, right? Um, but I was just testing it out on on crypto to see if it would work on crypto and uh, it does so um, you can apply this again I showed you that it worked on Forex uh, works on indices and now it worked on crypto so again just has to cross both the MAs it had just crossed both the MAs uh, nearly being oversold difference of about 10 in the RSI um, pull the trigger um, well that and my bias was that um, you know you also gotta have your, your, your trading bias too Wh which direction you think it's gonna go so um, taking a look back at the chart, um, <clears throat> you could tell it was clearly in an uptrend. Um, so that's why I went ahead and pulled the trigger on a buy because I wouldn't have sold this, right? There's, n there's no way if I would have seen this being oversold. Even on this, this right here, I think this, if I would have caught that, that was earlier today, earlier this morning, I should say. Um, I don't even know if I would have sold this because that was, you know, uh, it, it, I mean, hell, it actually would have been a great sell, but considering my directional bias is um, a buy, I wanted to catch a buy instead. So 
Um, I caught the buy here um, exactly where I wanted to, um, even though the uh, uh, you know the spread is a little bit bigger uh, on uh, Hugo's way. Um, I got out right when I said I was going to. You know when the the, the difference be be you know between the two and the RSA got to be about eight or greater. It was about ten. Um, and the thing is, is the price right now is still higher from when I got out. So, um, so just giving you an update on that. Um, again, cool strategy. Um, I think it works, especially if you're looking for, um, you know, a quick scalp. Actually, it wasn't quick. It took about two hours, but still, you know, 25, 21 pip scalp ain't bad um, for two hours on a Saturday. Um, probably, you know, now that I definitely know this works on crypto and I, and I definitely know i mean of course i tried it on the indices and i tried it on um you know euro usd and nzd usd and this is probably gonna be something i'm using a lot more and uh, i just thought i'd share it with you guys and uh i hope that you guys uh, got something from this um if you do like the videos and you like what i'm doing here um you can well, that was definitely not what I wanted to do. I wanted to show you charts, but that was earlier. But uh, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um, it's just down below somewhere, I think. Um, and uh, I'll probably bring more videos to you. Um, probably give you, you know, more hints as to uh, maybe even develop this strategy out even more, flesh it out. Um, you know, as you can see, I put in the uh, the different uh, the MAs in there and stuff like that. Um, uh, so that uh, that could definitely be part of the strategy as well, um, you know, especially for scalping. You know, um, maybe all the inmates have to be on one side, like it was for me. You know, most of them were just below, so maybe that helped as part of the strategy. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna keep de developing the strategy. It definitely worked in in this instance. Um, you know, it's worked in the other instances as well. If you watched my last video, so. Um, hope you enjoyed uh, the video and uh, again subscribe if you like more and uh, again I'll probably be doing some analysis coming up uh, probably be getting more involved with crypto it seems to be the thing the kids are now doing these days all right um, and uh, hopefully I'll say see you guys soon so if not tonight probably tomorrow that's for sure uh, you guys enjoy your weekend and have a good night